to my channel, YouTube Nation, Brothers and Sisters in Christ. My name is Nikki Pratt. Thank you for browsing by today. It is a new month, March 1st, 2014. In the news of Bible prophecy, uh, before I get into that, I have a question for you guys. Have you guys been coming under some persecution lately? Maybe some temptations? Well, don't fret if you had. You know, the Bible speaks of that. I'm bringing it up because I have been coming under some persecutions like none other. It just seems like... Um, a little bit more lately than in the past but get ready Saints that's just something we have to go through that means stay prayed up and keep the blood of Jesus over you day and night stay in prayer okay but now in the news of Bible prophecy First up, I've written some things down, did some research. The story out of the Times of Israel, the Palestinians rejects the U.S. push for peace talks beyond April. Hmm, okay. Also, in the New York Times, the U.S. president expected to appeal Netanyahu and a boss to adopt framework plan. Now, with those two headings of in the news about the peace talk, you know, I've told you in former videos that is that peace talk that they're talking about is not the legit peace, the true peace that Jesus brings. Okay? It's a false peace. But in the book of Daniel, Daniel the prophet spoke about it, the false peace, um, basically. And that was in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. We got uh, President Obama pushing and pushing. He's taking over, you know, like it's not going quick enough. But you do know nothing is done only but in God's time, okay? Let's turn over and read the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 27, okay? Because this is news that relates to Bible prophecy, okay? So, Daniel, chapter 9, verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Okay. So, even then, this framework that he's pushing for, this peace agreement, and... Um, is, I mean, the Palestinians rejects the U.S. push um, for the peace talks beyond April. Now, in April, there are some big things that's going to be happening. Um, but before I get that, get to that, um, you know, there's a lot of um, things going on with Russia, okay, um, and Israel. Okay, with Israel, you have... Psalms 83, where it says that they want Israel to be remembered no more. You have Isaiah 17 uh, concerning Damascus, and Damascus being a ruinous heap. And it's definitely looking like a ruinous heap. I mean, Bible prophecy at its best, okay? And the Ezekiel 38 war, the Gog and Magog war, the Russia, concerning Russia war okay back to april april is a big month in bible prophecy why because i told you 
in my videos past that I would do a video concerning the four blood red moons, okay? Uh, the In April, coming up, uh, the, blood room, the blood red moons occurs on Passover and the Feast of Tabernacles, which is like Jewish holidays, okay? And um, when it happened many, 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 many years ago, big events took place during these blood moons. For instance, um, yeah, for instance, uh, Israel became a nation. And um, Jerusalem became a city in 1967. Jerusalem, I'm sorry, Israel became a nation in 1948. Okay, and then Jerusalem became a city in 1967. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen in April, but if something big took place, a big change, what I'm saying is, I feel like there's going to be a big movement, a big biblical milestone, some type of event. I don't know what's going to take place, but you can bet your bottom dollar with this blood red moon coming in April, something big will be going on. Okay. Um, and also... Uh, concerning uh, Israel and, and the peace talks, you know, you think of um, Thessalonians uh, in the book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3, where it says, And they, when they shall say, Peace and safety and sudden destruction shall come upon them like a woman in travail. Well, they're hollowing peace and safety, they're starting it. Okay. This peace, 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 peace. All right. Um, also, other scriptures for uh, time's sake, you can also read concerning uh, Israel and the peace agreement that uh, the prophet Daniel spoke about in the book of Daniel would be Daniel chapter 8, verse 23, Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, and um, Daniel 8, 25, okay? So, with all that said, like I say all the time, hopefully, none of the stuff that I talk about with you scares you. What it should do is to get you ready. Repent ready. Okay? Getting your house in order. Getting saved. Finding out who Jesus is and where you are in Jesus. And you believe it in Jesus. Okay? Get saved. Don't get scared. Get saved. Alright? Um, USA, the United States, you know, with all this said, a long time ago, Bob Obama said that we are no longer a Christian nation. Um, somebody that is subscribed to my videos also, you know, I talk about that Obama saying it all the time, but he, um, hell foolish, uh, did bring up to me that we actually are not a Christian nation, and it's the truth. But, you know, he said it, and by golly, that man is really taking us down. A lot of people may not agree with what I say, but... Uh, like I say all the time, I do not do these videos for popularity contest. All right. Um, I have freedom of speech. And, um, hey, that's just the way it is. That's the, that's the way I feel. This man is definitely bringing us down. All right. Back in the news, Russians' um, warships are at Cuba coast. Ready, armed, aimed, ready to do whatever. They are flexing their muscles out uh, in, in, um, in the sea, waiting. I'm telling you, things are getting heated up. Russia is angry. Um, Russian's flags are raised. 
Vladimir Putin is about to poot. He is angry. And um, to me, he don't look like he'll back down either. I mean, he is very, very fired up. But again, it's Ezekiel 38, guys. I think that Bible prophecy is coming on the brinks, okay? Um, also, Russia has sent over 15,000 troops to Ukraine. Russia has invaded the Ukraine. It is crazy out there in the news right now. Um, you know, is World War Three on the rise? Is it? I don't know. Again, we won't harbor too much on that. We, we Christians, are just going to make sure that we what? Are ready. We repented and ready. Okay? Um, so, talk, talking about some civil unrest, it is going down. You know, that also remind me of a dream. I know I have stopped off from doing my dreams and I've been a little bit behind as far as news versus Bible prophecy. But I will get back into my dreams. Actually, after I do this video, I will be posting another video up. There is a dream that I had. February 28th, early, early in the wee hours of the morning that I have to bring forth, okay? Um, but I will do that after I do this video. And uh, sometime in the near future, I'll bring back up all my other dreams, okay? But um, this particular dream, my God, very, very powerful very very prophetic just look out for it don't miss it okay um anyway but this particular dream I'm, I'm adding this in because um what i'm about to say i mean what i've been talking about you know russia i had this dream last year but seeing so many things kind of um that i've been recently talking about just a few minutes ago russia and the war and all that um Anyway, in this particular dream, this dream, dream was very short. I was looking up into the sky, and as I looked up in the sky, I saw a bear. Just a picture of a bear. And it was just looking down, okay? Then the bear went away, and then I saw a lion, okay? And it was looking down, but this lion and the bear was in the formation of the clouds. So what I'm saying is the bear was made out of clouds, okay? And the uh, lion was made from the formation of a cloud. And after that, that went away. And then I saw a bunch of hands, just hands. Looked like they were just doing this. In the sky, as I was looking up, looking up at it, just a bunch of hands. Don't know what I mean, but after I saw the hands, I woke up, and you know the bear um, is relates it to me relates to, and many of you know this, Russia. The hands in a dream, I have no idea, but the lion. Um, could it represent Jesus, the lion, and the, the tribe of Judah, Jesus? I don't know. Share your thoughts. Let me know. Okay? Anyway, moving right along. Did you guys hear about the Mississippi man that was raised from the dead? Now, you know, scientists and unbelievers, I've been hearing stories. They having a party with this. They're making jokes out of it. Basically, you know, I don't know why they're doing it. But me, I'm looking at it from a biblical standpoint. If there were miracles in the Old Testament and in Jesus' days, you can bet your bottom dollar there would be miracles now, especially now, 
that we are in the end times. Um, for instance, well, well, let me just tell you, this Mississippi man that, that died, he had no pulse, no vitals, dead, okay? They tagged him, bagged him, sent him to the morgue. The, the funeral guy got ready to embalm him, and the man started kicking and saying, let me out of here. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to tell you, it takes some very anointed people to be messing around with dead people. But I'm going to tell you, had I been in there, child, that man had been in there by himself, bag and all, and still zipped up. But I'm just saying. But, again, re re remember, Jesus did that, like I said, in his day. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He also raised, remember the uh, Jairus' daughter, the 12-year-old girl from the dead? And there were other accounts. So what am I getting at? This is what I think. John chapter 13, verse 19. And it goes a little something like this. And I tell you, let, let me find it. Let me find it. I don't want to mess it up. Yes, now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. What I'm saying is, I believe that happened, that miracle happened. There's a lot of things happening. You know, you've heard me talk about it before. Earthquakes in diverse places, that's prophecy. Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, that's Bible prophecy. God is Jesus. God is trying to let us know that he is he. You know, he's, he's showing us signs, and he said he would. A lot of people are not paying attention, okay? I believe, me personally, that that man was raised from the dead. That miracle, because that's exactly what that mortuary man, whatever they call those people, said that it's a miracle <laughs> yeah a miracle from jesus i'm telling you that's exactly what i believe so um moving right along also you probably have heard already but i'm gonna bring it up because i'm a little behind the death the mysterious death of these bankers they're coming up dead everywhere they're saying that some of them is suicide and I think it's a murder. I'm just saying. But why all the bankers? Hmm. Perhaps somebody knows something that we don't know. Perhaps the new world order that the Bible speaks of is on the brink. Perhaps. Um, basically, somebody knows something we don't. I believe that's why these poor men are coming up dead, all right? Um, the economy could be getting ready to crash, collapse. Remember, you heard me say, you know, you got the stock market. It's, it's a little shaky. There's a lot of stuff going on there. You don't, you don't know whether it's going or coming. I mean, it's, it's just getting very shaky a lot of people don't believe that the economy is going to crash but that dollar is not going to be of value real soon so if you know like i know do like the old people do take your money out of the bank hide it divide it bury it i don't know do something but um it's it's getting real out there and come april it'll be interesting to see what is exactly going to happen, okay? Um, let's see. Also, I need to bring up, and you guys probably have heard, the FCC is planning to monitor and control what goes on in the newsroom. Who's doing that? Of course, the Obama administration. 
They're wanting control the guns. They want to control you. They're monitoring your text messages, your phone calls, every little thing you do. Well, how does that relate to Bible prophecy? NWO, New World Order, that one world governmental system. That's all. Why the FCC wants to get involved? I'm going to tell you why. Because they don't. They want to be able to monitor what you hear, what could be of truth, and water it down, or maybe not let you hear it at all. Because, see, pretty soon, videos um, that are done on YouTube that I do and others do regarding the news and Bible prophecy, um, talking about Jesus, anything, because there are some news channels, Fox News. Uh, in particular, there are some news channels that, you know, they are getting very, very interested in some things that is going on in the world. And people like the FCC want to dilute and stop you from hearing it. The mainstream media. Okay. But majority of the news that you get today would be on videos like, like this. So... Like I said again, if you're not saved and if you're not reading your Bible and if you're not, because I'm telling you, this Bible is of truth. This is, you can't go wrong with this. And when you look at what what's going on in the world today versus this Bible, Bible prophecy, you can't lose. Okay, if you're on Jesus' side, if you're saved, you have nothing to worry about. You can't lose, okay? Um, but that's why I say, yes, definitely get saved. Time is running out. April comes. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm not saying that Jesus is going to come back because the Bible specifically say we do not know the time, day, or the hour, but what? He did show the signs, okay? Uh, like I um, said, that one day... These videos will be cut off. And if you don't have a Bible, honey, you're going to be lost. So, please, while there is still time and breath in your body, repent, get saved, get baptized. Okay? Uh, turn completely away from your sin. Join and obtain the free gift that was freely given to you. The gift of what? The gift of salvation. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you need to do so right now. Don't wait tomorrow till tomorrow. Tomorrow is not promised to you. Okay? Don't wait. Do it today. Okay? Ask for Jesus in your heart. He will reign there. Be sincere about it. Repent of your sins. Believe that he died for your sins and he rose from the dead. Okay, confess him with your mouth. You will be saved. It's just that easy. You don't have to go through any uh, hell marys and, 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 and sacrificing no lamb or doing anything of that nature. Jesus was that sacrificial lamb for me and for you, for your soul. Get saved today. I love you guys. Look out for my dream video that will be coming up after this. Love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.